Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Max Powers, a.k.a. 311 Griffin, a.k.a. a few names that are not so nice that I'm not going to say here that I have been called in the past. Uh, I wanted to do a, just an, an interesting and fun build, not for my main base, but as a, as a base that I'm not going to use in Ark. This is on Ragnarok. And I wanted to do a hex, hexagonal base uh, because when I first started building with the S Plus stuff, I, uh, I didn't realize it was a hexagon. They were triangles. They're unilateral triangles, the, the triangle pieces are. And um, while I wish that there were some improvements to help utilize those with the square items from vanilla uh, arc, they, they aren't. And so I kind of messed up my first, my keep that I built uh, for my first base. And I wanted to come out and sort of uh, test a theory for taking these small triangles and putting them into hexagons, bigger triangles, bigger hexagons, etc, etc, etc. And also how to tie those into vanilla arc type structures. So I had some success and I had some failure. Um, I was going to do a build video. I was going to go show the problems with my current base. I was going to show the problems with the arc building system and I was going to show how uh, to overcome that. But it took me somewhere around nine hours yesterday to do this base which isn't even as big as what I would do if I were really going to build the base and so I'm not going to do a build video this is just a kind of a tour of the base um, with the problems and the things that went well but it's mostly just a base tour uh, I, I didn't want to sort through the four hours worth of video that I shot while doing the nine hours worth of work to try to put it together it's just it's not worth my time and it's not worth your time and everybody knows the problems with the arc building system so I'm not really benefiting anybody to show that so I'm just gonna show the base okay so let's get started this is the uh, the facility it's Ooh. sort of like uh, Der Flakturn from uh, <laughs> Medal of Honor Ally, uh, Airborne Airborne um, and that's kind of the way I built it. I, I sort of wanted to go out even some some more, make it a little bigger on top. But um, anyway, it, it was supposed to be a quick project, not a not a long, drawn out project. So um, first things first, right off the bat, and I I talked about this a little bit before, but that may not make it into final cut. I really wish that these triangle roof pieces, like you see here, were easier to flip upside down so that I could put a base. Um, Oh. underneath this going from this edge right here down to this point uh, that would really really make that make uh, sort of um, I don't know what these are called on a castle but make columns like this sort of uh, look more realistic oh. and they they'd, they'd pop a little bit you know that, that would look good so um, but anyway that's the only thing on the exterior that just really burns me up that I can't do uh, normally I would also put a wall up probably out oh. like here somewhere and make it just an exact make these concentric hexagons with some col tower columns on the corners of those uh, and then you could put bigger dinos down here uh, but that was so, here's the interior we've got like a kitchen area Oop, lag back we've got like a kitchen area kind of a thing um, there were rooms on the sides, but because of the way the building snapped, uh, you had to duck to get into those rooms, and they were oddly shaped and sort of weird looking. So I just um, stopped a refrigerator and a vault in there. So, which I don't know how to use the vault. There it goes. Um, now, uh, I really like the way the staircases turned out. It was a it was a hassle to do that, but. Um, But it worked out pretty well. You can do some cool stuff with those. We've got us a little, little bedroom here. Oh, what's up, Rocky Baljerboa? Um, a couple of beds. Um, there's not as much bed space as what um, I wish there was in this building, so it wouldn't work for um, a large, a large group. You'd have to build it bigger, or either taller or or bigger around. Probably bigger around if you were going to um, have a larger group in here. Um, the pillars, uh, these are S plus pillars. They snap down a little bit, and I didn't catch that till later, so I'm not gonna fix it. 
here we've got sort of what I would call the uh, the first like battle level or whatever. But this is also the smithing and fabrication area. And uh, but these, and I talked about this before too, but I'm not for sure if it made it. And I don't have my any of my weapons on me right now. But one of the problems I have even with turrets like this that stick out is you can't shoot down and dinosaurs especially like to come up close to where you are and attack your buildings so unless you have a trap door in the middle which is possible um, you can set up a trap door open it and shoot down it uh, which I have done before I decided to try to do these with these triangle roof pieces and, um, and this works pretty well um, you're gonna have to duck around a little bit like so to shoot down and you definitely don't want to fall out because you will fall through there the other thing is that other players would be able to get through it as well unless you had like turrets inside or something like that um, players would be able to get inside that dimorphodons can fly in um, so it's not a perfect system but um, it's close. Uh, also, I've got this artifact going through the ceiling. I didn't think about that. But uh, the artifacts go through the ceiling. But let's move up to the patio slash uh, bird area. We have a feeding trough up here. We have some turrets, and these are kind of hidden turrets. They can shoot out these windows, but these were more for uh, if somebody tried to fly in here that didn't belong. That's, that's more what these are for. I don't know if that is great placement or if it works really well. Um, it may not. You could pop a couple columns here instead of these, uh, but I really like the way these windows look. So anyway, that's what that's all about. Now, up on the very roof, I did not make a way to get up there. Up on the very tip top, because at first I wasn't going to make put anything up there. But uh, there's not a way up here except to fly, and I'm okay with that. This is the greenhouse area and flyover defense kind of area. Um, I, I didn't want to put a hole in the floor and put a ladder up here. You could do it. It would be pretty easy to do. Uh, you could build a ramp up somehow. Um, but, really but obviously, greenhouse, we've got all of our uh, main necessities uh, for cooking things and for creating narcotics. We've got narco berries. We've got some mijos, although I'd probably throw the mijos out and do narco narco berries in real life and because I don't have a large herbivore carnivore base downstairs uh, normally I would use dung beetles for my fertilizer but uh, I just threw some common bins in here the other problem would be that you've got to have thatch and there's not a lot of thatch in the desert so you might be better off with dung beetles actually hey, looky there so that is the fort um Again, this isn't necessarily the greatest fort in the world, but I wanted to build one out of, like, using the hexagon pattern as much as I possibly could. So I've got even, even like, the stair openings where I can are hexagons. Um, hexagons and triangles, basically. There are a lot of hexagons and triangles here. I also wanted to see if I could do a better job of mixing vanilla square pieces with hexagon pieces and I think to keep it to a little bit you know to a minimum um, and are very careful with how you do it it's it's definitely possible but uh, it's always frustrating um, and I probably like I'm gonna cut most of the most of the audio out of the other stuff that I did but these were gonna be hollow walls that you could walk through um, I don't like the wasted space the fact that on these these lower one two three four five tiers this is all wasted space and I don't really like that um, I really don't like that I, I really really don't like that but um, because of the way the squares and the hexagons go together I wound up having to pull these walls out and um, lay the flat pieces in and then put the walls back in and uh, you can see I've got some some walls sticking up through the floors and I've got you know the I've got this one r vanilla piece here I've got the gate not over as far as it should be and it's not centered I could have easily thrown some more triangles down just to make this hexagon like one layer bigger on on one side and then scooted that over one to center it up in the wall little things like that but all in all 
that's not too bad, I guess. So, um, definitely some room for improvement. Um, I like... I like some of the features, but I think it needs to be bigger. I think it needs to have a courtyard. I think it needs to have a way up to the roof. And oh. some more more bedroom space and storage space probably would be very nice. Um, I also really like Species X plants instead of the turrets. But uh, in this particular build, since we're out in the desert, I didn't want to... Um, well, and I just didn't want to have all the irrigation pipes oh. all over the place um, to, to keep the Species X watered. So I decided to go with the turrets, and since I was already cheating to get to spawn stuff in way out here in the desert, I decided to put in a, uh, a windmill instead of a generator. So um, I don't have access to the windmill yet. Um, so uh, so I could, couldn't really get that. I just spawned it in. Oh. Anyway, tell me, guys, uh, tell, tell me what you think and uh, what I could have done better, and uh, hopefully some of you got some ideas for me about how you could do uh, kind of a cool base, and, um, and uh, thanks for watching.